Hello everyone, this is uh, Elite Radio episode number 10. Uh, today we have some special guests in our radio. This is Valer Roulette, Val, our counselor of defense. Say hello. Hello, guys. And we've got a magician, the Marilyn of EFF. It's vice leader of administration department, currently a predator division, Morbis. Yes. Hello, Morbis. It's me. Hello. What the fuck? There is so, no claps effect. Okay, go on. <laughs> okay, okay, that was fine. So, uh, we've got several changes since the last episodes, which we, we would like very much to cover. First of all, uh, this uh, recently we've got a new tool, which is Activity Graph, which can uh, be used to track the activity of our server. And it, uh, it was found out that we broke our historical activity twice during the last two weeks. Morabis, what do you think uh, led our server to be so active recently? Uh, well, it's the members in the first place. They are become more members, active. So They are playing more mm -hmm. on the server. Some of them spend really much time there. <laughs> Like, yeah, uh, I've seen people, uh, I'm sorry, I've seen people who spend five, 500 million minutes on the server, which yeah. is actually very nice. I, I actually led the activity, uh, some, some days I led the activity which followed me to, oh my god, what I'm doing with my life, I'm spending so much time in games, but that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, it's funny. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, and... Uh, what? <laughs> So uh, I was checking uh, back uh, last year and uh, there is a member in the clan who spent most of the time on server in a day with a uh, little more than 10 hours. Every day? No, it's, it's on a specific day. How many minutes does that oh. make? Uh, it was about... 600, uh, no? Yeah, 600, but it was about uh, 700 minutes, I think. Well, I saw uh, the recruit called uh, Creep, who came back and who was a member before. He reached uh, like 600 minutes uh, yesterday or two days ago, I don't remember, which is uh, insane, yeah? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, well, Royal, for example, came back to activity and this guy is breaking record every day, almost, in a row. <laughs> of life. Yeah. Yeah. We love you, Puta, man. I see that guy very, very often. Yeah. Thank you, Puta, for bringing our activity back. He done the big part. Bring. Yeah, cheers. Okay, so... Uh, uh, I think another was bring uh, by this new map rotation, which was mentioned in previous episode. This capture the flag and team free for all in our rotation. They bring some different people who are seeking for different types other than free for all. I seen some base guys uh, who usually search for team for, for all and they come to our server because we've got that mode. This is actually really, really nice. And by the way, we've got uh, new stuff. We've got weapons and force on capture the flag thanks to our administration department and Morabis in particular. Morabis, why did you decide to put guns and force in the first place? Because you were annoying me. <laughs> oh, no, that's... I'm kidding. Yeah, it seems uh, capture the flag and the uh, team free for all is a success. And uh, more and more people uh, like to play these type of games. And... Uh, Capture the flag uh, seemed boring without force and guns, like just everyone is running with the flag, and uh, it was boring. Yeah, putas are running, and we can't track them because they're putas. That's that's very logical. Yeah, and so now puta, now putas won't be able to run because of force push and force pull. Yeah, putas, be careful. It will give yeah, us some more trench. It's annoying, man. I get hung and I got thrown in a hole, man, if, if, if I have the flag. So it's really 
it's really annoying, but it's 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 fun. It's more intense now. But another problem is I, I can't I can't buy stand in peace now. It's almost impossible. <laughs> Well, by standing is on for the free for all. Those team free for all and capture the flag are Spartan game modes. You don't simply buy stand, but by the way, you show nice activity when it's team free for all. You often lead actually the scoreboard, despite that we've got some well, really really nice players. But you you seem to have some magic power. You seem to concentrate yeah. during yeah. your by standing period. I get I gain uh, strength through by standing. It's it's my it's my secret a bit, and yeah, it works. No, but when I fight, I, I try to do I try to do really I try to focus, <laughs> but it's cool sometimes. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I I'm happy because uh, I didn't expect sometimes to do such scores, and it's not bad. <laughs> I yeah, still get pumped. That's great. I still get Actually, pumped. you should seek. You should seek for an apprentice in the bystanding. You should teach them the secrets of bystanding by Valer. He, yeah. he will be your apprentice and a follower. Okay. Well, my, so. my apprentice so far are Ripshen and Frail. They like to bystand with me sometimes, so I give them some tips. And they are, they are very good. <laughs> some potential, man. I well, can you reveal maybe some tips of the bystanding that you mentioned? Maybe people would like to know that. Well, what I can tell you, if you when you buy stand, you do everything basically except playing GK. So, uh, <laughs> you stand on the spot, you can eventually use an emote uh, as you want, like a Matisse, MC, whatever. Then you, you minimize your game, you go on Facebook, you check you check it <laughs> to the news feed. Uh, then you go on forum, you check the forum, and then you come back to game, uh, you make people believe you were. You were uh, we were uh, 2K board, but actually you were somewhere else, but you you, you tell them, uh, yeah, I know what's going on, but no, you don't have a clue, you don't give a shit, you're just a FK, <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, and, uh, that's that's totally bystanding. Bazer's ears would bleed of what you say, because they, they believe that that's not how game is played. Man, this is, oh, come on. It's a new way to play for me. I know I'm a hipster, but it's <laughs> cool. ultimate hipster. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. How about uh, this uh, promotion department changes? Uh, Shadzi announced that uh, in meantime, while he's away, he appoints a new deputy, Srigor, which uh, used to lead uh, promotion department. How do you guys feel about that? Are promotions uh, going to become any uh, uh, to become more often? Will people take promotions uh, more often, more regularly uh, about that? What do you feel? Um, well, it's it's like a new opportunity because the department was uh, falling in, in in activity, so it was time to to make uh, some uh, backup, some update. And uh, it's about yeah, to make more opportunities to members to take trial, ex especially the masters for the master promotions. So it's nice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the thing is, uh, we saw Strigger who who is back in the game. So I thought, yeah, why why not asking him to to carry on? Why sh why should this busy? So yeah, actually, I did not expect that to go that well. So you know, I asked him randomly, uh, "What do you think about uh, helping Shadzi and the department while he's away?" He told, "Yeah, why not?" So here we are now. He accepted, and uh, Shadi was very fine with that, and he's happy. Everyone is cool with that. And now it's about uh, reshaping the departments. Uh, Jet Black is back to business, and uh, there are some promoters, one or two more to come, I think, which is still being yeah. discussed. So stay tuned, guys, for one or two more promoters, which uh, Sugar will decide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and today I discovered a topic which uh, was created by Srigor. He uh, has announced that any any guy who willing who's willing to take a master promotion, master and uh, the the rank below master, which is Sith Inquisitor and uh, Jedi Lord. Uh, for those guys, they're a special topic when they can write if they are willing to take a promotion and their uh, case will be dealt with closely as far as I'm concerned. So uh, guys, be, be active, take promotions because it's really, really fun. 
Yeah. More abyss, you've got uh, any comment on that? Uh, not that much, only that uh, it seems like you'll be crowded with promoters, so yeah, take your promotions as soon as yeah. you can. Yeah, it's clearly shown that uh, promoting department is back stronger than ever, so enjoy guys, take your trials, promoters are here for you. So yeah, it's all about uh, back to business and departments uh, yeah, in a new shape. And Shadzi will be back soon, so it will be really full full in activity as it should be and it's great, yeah, enjoy. Okay, that seems to be an activity boost in the department. Well, yeah. let's see what happens out because it's, it's really great if more people become active at all and if departments uh, function more often, they function more active, that's, that's only great for the clan, I believe. Okay, so, uh, and there is one big change which uh, we, we, we will take some bit more time to discuss, I think. Uh, as you guys the vodka. might have figured it out. Well, no, vodka, vodka is fine. Vodka is not a topic <laughs> to discuss. You, you drink vodka, you're not discussing vodka. You're discussing things over vodka, you know? You should know, as Eastern European, you should know that. Yeah. But still. The, uh, the topic is uh, Mod has retired. Uh, the recruitment department needs a new counselor right now and elections are on. Our t title of our website says that counselor is to be elected soon. Uh, let's say cheers to Mod because um, his job, he, he did a really good job. I saw a lot, a lot of kind words from members like really a lot that appreciated his work. He, uh, they mentioned his personality because he was kind of role model for caretakers and for just people to, uh, to think, to, to, to how to think, how to act in different situation. He was a really good one, a really good counselor and he uh, kept in that position for a long time. Val, we've got something to tell Mod. Yeah, of course, yeah, I want to give a few words for him. I know right now, man, if you ever hear me, you're sailing, you're on the sea, living the dream, I guess. So if you hear me, yeah, I want to say thank you for what you did because you've been customers for like, yeah, two years, more than two years in a few months. So uh, you've always been on your on your foot and a really straight guy and uh, really professional, that's all. Uh, your role model as a caretaker, but, but also a role model as a consumer, man. Because, yeah, you have been straight on your decision, you, I don't know, yeah, really professional, impartial, but always thinking before acting, is, it was amazing to work at your side. Yeah, I, I didn't work a lot uh, as colleague with you because uh, you stepped down like a four months after I arrived, but even when I was PD, yeah, it was nice to work with you, man. Uh, it was like a relief to know you're in the team. Uh, so yeah, th thank you very much for, for what you have done so far and be sure that uh, the future councillor and uh, even the, the world council and the team will take take care of the department for you and uh, we will do our best as usual. That's all for me. And enjoy your time, man, at the sea. Uh, that's yeah, all. enjoy yeah. your time. Enjoy, man. <laughs> thank you. More abyss? I think we uh, said everything. Mood was a really, really talented uh, counselor and he perfectly fit for the job he did. And he did that job uh, great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I fully agree with that actually because, uh, well, I was, uh, I uh, re actually, I, I fucked up a little. I left TFF last year and when I came back, I didn't really count on that mod will accept me, but he, he did, I think, what was supposed to be done. He made, he made me a trial. He didn't decline me from the first, uh, from the first sight as bureaucracy would, would, would they would make. It, that was really, really nice. Well, as the credits are given to mod, still there is an ongoing subject: this new councillor elections. Uh, currently, currently, councillors are electing uh, this new councillor, and it will be given. Uh, he will be given a title from permission of Fluffy. But uh, Val, you're one. You're a councillor right here. Can you say what uh, is the elections like? Uh, are opinions separated, or you have come up with one already? 
what's what's selections look like that what selections look like right now I have no idea man I don't know at all about that come to you man sorry <laughs> no, no, okay. yeah I know. oh come on I can That's yeah terra incognita. not much is no. going on man <laughs> uh, not much is going on consider that one curse man so oh we are taking our time to discuss but it's slow I can tell you it's slow because uh not everyone is active at the same time and uh, uh, yeah we take the time to discuss and we're a bit lazy so yeah it's, it's slow so it makes things slow sl- more slow but uh, we are discussing still we're actually discussing for more than a month now about the new council <laughs> because uh, <clears throat> it's been a while already mod plan to step down and uh, so yeah we're still discussing about it and uh, <sighs> We are about to make the final decision uh, soon, I guess. Soon. Yeah, and uh, about the opinion, well, they are, they are really, they are really stuck. I mean, no big divergences, no, no big oppositions. Uh, it's very fluid, fluid conversation, and uh, people agree with with each other in the council, and it's often like that. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very easy to discuss, but just we are slow because of the activity and uh, motivation. Remember, but. And also, we take our time because we see that uh, the department itself, without mod and led by uh, Phoenix, head caretaker, and uh, Roy also as counselor and caretaker, well, it's going on on his own perfectly for now. So, so we better uh, take our time to to discuss and elect the new counselor for now, and let things go without rushing things. That's yeah. All. Okay. I think also and that, uh, it's a special case. Yeah, if we take a look back to the previous uh, retirements, like when uh, Maximus retired, there was a pretty obvious choice for his department. Or when I retired, Roy was a pretty obvious uh, choice for my department. There were no other options. (laughs) But now there are multiple choices, I think. Uh, Many people who are possible choice for this uh, title or for this position. First is the head caretaker Phoenix, but I think we can mention all the other caretakers and even some counselors like Val or Roy. Yeah man, I, I'm, I'm my own candidate man, I vote for me. <laughs> I want to take that's over right. and soon I take over the, the other department and I, I will be the counselor alone, but that's, that's a conspiracy man going on. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> yes, actually Val have managed to get really, really many records by his powerful tool join or ban. We've got really many records from that. Really many. Do, do they really believe that you're gonna ban them? And really are you going to ban people or you're a man of a love? Or uh, why are they why are they deciding to follow your advice and join not to get banned? Uh, what uh, do you think? I have no real idea actually, but I think they take the joke. But sometimes I really wonder if if they take the joke or not because you know uh, I, I like I, I do a lot of sarcasm and joke. So when I introduce the thing, I I look like very serious, you know. <laughs> and so uh, I say yeah. Yeah, I go straight to the point. My new John or you get banned. But just a new way to do it because it's too classical to say to say uh, to welcome in a in a warm full way like blah 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 enjoy your stay. No no. You arrive, you join, you do get banned, and people take the joke. I don't know. I even managed to to recruit the queen, as you can see in the uh, application section. Her Majesty joined, and uh, that's amazing actually. And yeah, I, I threatened her as well uh, to kick her royal butt, and uh, it's cool. That's, so, yeah. Oh, it's it's that guy Queens of something, right? Which was on the server recently. I think he. Her Majesty. Have, we have the queen, yeah. We have, we have the queen of uh, of of the, the UK, John the Clan, man. Her Majesty arrived. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, uh, we were speaking with Morabis briefly about that before, and he proposes Matt Adler as the top candidate for a job. Morabis, can you comment on that? Why would you pick him? Uh, I, I I pick him because. Uh, <laughs> They threatened me to ban me from server if I don't pick uh, Matt for that position. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like oh. a conspiracy. 
On a side note, yeah, there is a conspiracy and rebellion among the Predator division because Morabis managed to ban Roy and I in a row uh, from server. And uh, the noob I was, I didn't know how to unban myself, so I was in the shit. And uh, so Morabis uh, helped me, but without him, uh, I would be still banned from server. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, the PD bans the, the console, everything is all right. Welcome to EFF. Okay, the state. funny thing with Matt that uh, he took it serious when uh, it was mentioned to him that he can be a counselor of recreating here. He really he took it serious. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, he asked me regularly, like, uh, <laughs> so, Val, so Val, who, who is going to replace Mod as a counselor spot? I say, yeah, you probably, I guess. So, but, but don't you remember I got kicked from the clan? Say, ah, fuck, I forgot. But yeah, still, uh, he believes in and believes in, uh, in what what you want that's the way to achieve Matt you're a candidate stay tuned for the results well, we'll, <laughs> if, he, if he does not elect it we should probably mention that the, uh, the competition was really really tough and he lacked really small amount of votes mm -hmm. to become a a, a, a counselor itself don't mention the zero number because it would be not really polite but anyways, uh, let's stick to the topic. Uh, Val, do you uh, think that there are some people who deserve to be mentioned in the race um, for uh, new councillor chair? Like you told that her head caretaker Phoenix uh, is uh, likely, to, not likely, but he might become a new candidate. Uh, but uh, that's obvious. He's a care head caretaker. He's been some uh, a caretaker for some time. He's got experience. That's obvious that he is uh, one of candidates. Uh, do you have some uh, any people who deserve to be mentioned uh, in, uh, in this topic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some potential candidates. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> Phoenix as well, of course, because he's head caretaker. But also, Vrail. Vrail used to be head caretaker. And he has a lot of potential. Yeah, there are both candidates. Yeah, there are potential candidates. Uh, the main one mentioned also Trimo, indeed. Uh, I can tell you the list of candidates, but of but of course, yeah, uh, the, the choice will remain secret until the announcement. But of course, yeah, the caretaker list is a uh, is a potential one, especially the the three I mentioned, uh, Trimo. Tremor, Vrail, and Phoenix, uh, the most potential ones. But also, it could could perfectly be some non-caretaker, uh, just someone who has the like ability who? to lead. Someone who has the ability to lead and to take care of power without abusing. Someone we can rely on could be elected. For example, we, we thought about honestly, we thought about Ripshen. For example, Ripshen, he is. Um, I don't know. He's serious. He's funny. He's responsible. He's. Uh, yeah, he, he could be. He could be as well. He used to be a candidate. He's still an, he's still a candidate, by the way. So yeah, it's not necessarily uh, a caretaker, but of course caretakers are have the most chance to be elected. As uh, for example, for the for preferred the ones. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the preferred ones, caretakers. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. As for for example, to take lead. Uh, uh, from the department for predator division of promoting a uh, department, he, he could be, uh, of course, first uh, a predator of a promoter, but he could also be an external person, someone who, who is not really qualified, but who has ability to lead some, some a lot like of... Like Matt people. Adler. Yeah, for example, him. Mm -hmm. uh, him, like Alt Alti as well, GMI, Trollolol. <laughs> GMI, yeah. But sure. all in comp competition, by the way, yeah. So yeah, guys, if, uh, yeah, is at this summit. There are a lot of suspense, and uh, even I, man, I, I'm, I'm excited, man, you, because uh, yeah, I, I don't even know who it will be yet. Still being discussed, and yeah, some bad friend between the counselors because we don't, we don't know. We say fuck you to each other. I want him. I want Matt Adler. No, I want Artful to be counselor. So, so we pretend to ban each other. But <laughs> I told you there is harmony between the councils. So. So that cool. seems like really a tough competition going on there. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's really, really tough. The candidates like GMI, well, they're, they're really powerful candidates. I yeah. can't even imagine how can you possibly choose between them. Mm. But I want Her Majesty to take the seats. Her Majesty herself. You know, she's only a recruit, but I want her already in the council. So I'm going to propose her uh, as candidate. I want Her Majesty to take the seats. Well, as she 
as she is a recruit right now, she's totally connected with the recruitment department by being a recruit, by being taken care of by the caretakers. This is, this is totally understandable, totally. Yeah, I directly... Uh, we directly put her as a counselor, you know. She's only recruit, but we can we can skip some some steps. Like no need to be a member to to scale the rank. No, become a counselor, Majesty. You deserve it. You can even be emperor. But if you want to become emperor, you will have to fight the throne against Matt because Matt is emperor. No, if you did not notice, he changed his name again on server. He's no known as Emperor Matt. So when you meet him, you you better bow and kneel before him to <laughs> respect yeah <laughs> hail Matt okay. long life yeah Matt we're, all, we're we're going to be more careful with you from now on because it seems lo- like you're being a really powerful person among the counselors <laughs> I, I didn't really think so Morabis have you got some opinion on that no nice <laughs> well, I heard that I heard that you used to work a lot with the recruitment department, and uh, you may probably have some notes on that. Uh, you have uh, some other people who deserve to be a counselor, or, or uh, what uh, new counselor will face when he steps in charge, because uh, there are well. Apart from recruitment, uh, there is a new project was, uh, which was called uh, by mod uh, knowledge department and uh, our department was rema- uh, renamed in the department of recruitment and knowledge. Uh, the, the, uh, from what I've heard, there was tool made for that, uh, the places were made, instructors were made. Uh, this new counselor will be responsible for this uh, project or will he abandon that? What do you think, Morbis? Um, I think that uh, the, there will be high expectations for this new counselor when he took his place. Um, because, uh, yeah, Morda left behind some le- legacy. Uh, mm-hmm. Like this job, the instructors. And... Uh, all the stuffs belongs to this uh, job, like uh, different uh, task, uh, which is similar to the tricks and glitches caretakers can teach to new people. And um, yeah, the system is ready. Like people can gain uh, awards and achievements, new medals. And we'll see that if the new counselor is going to take care of this or he will let his department on another way. Okay, I see. That's pretty solid because, you know, the new job, which, which it sounds really interesting and uh, activity boosting. But guys, seems like we've been talking for about and half an hour and some people could get bored by half of this time. Have you got any anything more to comment on? Uh, well, if you don't like that episode, let me know and I ban you. Uh, <laughs> That's solid. I like that. You 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 are going to lead defense department of elite radio. You're you're going to be appointment soon, I think. Yeah, I'll talk I'm, with Mas about that. One thing I'm sure we need more recruits. So why yeah. do your job, please? Ah, yeah, caretakers, I give you some work, yeah. Uh, I bring you a lot of people, so you are, have fun. And the, the new counselor we, will be pleased as well. We'll have a lot of work. But I'm sure we, we, we are here to help if needed. So, yeah. You should probably observe the work of new counselor and give him advice on how to recruit people. But, yeah, okay. Uh, seems like we've, uh, we're coming to an end. Uh, any last words, guys? Yeah, uh, about activity, please keep going with these really nice uh, numbers. And uh, soon there will be coming uh, activity challenge 2, which people can break. That's all. Nice. And new rewards will be given. What? Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's about uh, keep keep being active, and uh, there is new challenge to achieve, uh, like activity breakers. 
But uh, I had also a question from her. This is about map rotation. Uh, so yeah, there, there has been a change, but what about uh, you plan to maybe modify it a bit by including a new game types mod? I don't know if it's official, if you want to do it or not. Yeah, I can uh, tell a few words about it. I'm uh, planning to add uh, Siege, or Siege, sorry, my English sucks. Uh, so I'm going to add Siege and also very few custom maps and probably modify the time limit for uh, capture the flag and team FFA but the details later yeah it's a good point yeah more diversity for all tastes of of players so everyone can be satisfied in the end and also yeah, yeah that... guys as you know guys uh, custom maps have been uh, retired from rotation but they are still on the server so if you have any requests uh, if you meet so consider or whoever on the server who, who can change the map you can ask and you can make a vote and move on a custom map absolutely no problem like on TPC. yeah but I think we I think we should be really careful about that and make sure that on the mainstream time there are no custom maps on the server in order to keep activity yeah. mm. but rotation can be broken sometimes because of of the tools uh, which are used to change the map mostly put by event organizers i don't blame you but <laughs> okay well uh, yeah like, uh, rotation can be broken for example nowadays if you see for example a christmas map uh don't worry yeah. it can happen <laughs> rotation has been broken but yeah, it gets fixed easily more shit in the plate to deal with for secretaries <laughs> so yeah Sorry, More of this is thinking right now that it's not so easy, you motherfucker. Don't break the activity, don't, don't break the map rotation or I will ban you. Right? Yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, guys, stay tuned. TGH is a maggot. And I think that from now on, this episode is finished. Have a good time. See you. See you, bye.